Right guys, life on a budget. I'm here at Kurgi Indoor Market. I know I'm on the outside, but right behind me, inside, is Malcolm Michaels. I do award winning pork pies right here. And I'm going on the quest to find the best pork pie that there possibly is. The reason being, the other day I saw on Leeds list that they, a, a post blew up about which was the best pork pie in Yorkshire right here. And it was doing me any, because I love pork pies more than anyone right here. So I've decided I'm going to go find out which one is the best pork pie. So let's get inside and let's go find out what it tastes like. So there they are, the Tower of Pork Pies, and it looks absolutely amazing. Just having a quick look round, them pies, the fillings in them look absolutely beautiful. But they've got loads of stuff on sale here. All your traditional jams, you know, shelves full of nice local produce and it's really nice to see that you know nice cheeses you know and everything looks really really well done so i'm excited for this pork pie and it also claims it does the cheapest drinks in leeds market all right can i get a couple of pork pies mate um, yeah one traditional and one um Cheers, mate. And today, I've decided I've had enough of Fishy Fridays. Yeah, it's going to be Pork Pie Fridays. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to search Leeds, Yorkshire, the whole of the UK in the quest for the best pork pie. Because I absolutely love pork pies. I absolutely love them. And you know, the thing is, you never get two the same. You know, that's that's one one of the things I've found, you know. I've been to places where I didn't think they'd be nice and they're gorgeous. And I've been to places where they've, I've expected them to be gorgeous. I've been about £4 for a pot pie. They've been absolutely rubbish. So what I'm going to do is, I'm sacking Fishy Fridays off. And I'm going on that quest for the best pot pie anyone can find. So if anybody knows any good pot pie places, yeah, drop it in the comments, yeah. I'd love to visit them, yeah. I'm going to do all the big spots in Yorkshire to start off with. I'm going to start in Leeds and work my way out. Right, so today I'm at Malcolm Michaels in Leeds Market, yeah? One of the most famous places in Leeds Market. Everybody knows it. They've got a great selection of pork pies. So here it is. Let's have a quick look at that. So it's not the biggest of pork pies, but what I'm going to tell you is it's a pound. There's still not many pork pies out there that are, pound, that are a pound, yeah? And this is a pound pork pie, which is unbelievable, really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut into it. Have a look. Got my little pink knife. Cut into this pot pie. So it's quite flaky. You can tell that to start off. When we go straight down the middle. I've got this because you can't have a metal knife now. Or conceal weapons. I tell you now, it's not often, but I have got a whiff, of, a nice whiff of pot pie there. What I'm going to do is quickly show you it there. Look at that. I'm not going to lie, that looks pretty good. That looks looks like a good pork pie right guys so I've got my tea 50 pence in a lovely Yorkshire cup so I thought that were an absolute bargain there a nice cup of tea beautiful actually and the moment we've all been waiting for we we'll try the pork pie so let's have a look Lovely jelly, very yeah, nice. What's good is that because it's such a good pot pie, it starts at a good benchmark, you know. Yeah, it's nice, very really nice. You can tell it's fresh, really nice tasty meat. Like, I don't know if. Some people like the jelly in them, some people don't. Really tasty jelly. The crust, they're you know, nice and crumbly, but kind of soft a bit underneath. Just how I like a pot pie, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's a good pot pie. Just gonna show you that. I mean, 
one of the things you've got to say about this pork pie is it's a pound it's, it's literally a pound right there so whether people think it's a bit small or whether people think you know you know they can think what they want to think but yeah three for three pound two for two pound because they're a pound each you know so these places that are doing the three pound fifty pot pie they've got a lot to live up for if they charge you three times the amount of this so i'm interested to see what them other pot pies are going to taste like so clearly i'm going to have to get some kind of rating system um going just because you know, I'm going to do all these pot pie videos, it's better if I can rate them all. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to give this one an 8.5. It's pretty high up, but I'm looking at all aspects. I'm looking at the fact that it's a pound. I'm looking at the fact it tastes really nice. You know, 8.5 is going to be probably quite a high score, I think. Um, yeah, I'm going to give this 8.5. So that's the benchmark, 8.5. I feel a lot jelly in there. Look at that. Oh, jelly in there. Lovely. Which again, great that. 50p. You know, you don't really see cups of tea for 50p. And you can get coffee for 50p. You know, normally, quid, quid 20. You know, absolute bargain, man. And I've just got to say, the, the little food court in Leeds Market is really good. Um, you know, I've not really been here, and I, I won't lie to people, I use Trinity Food Court a lot, you know, it's really nice. I've never really ventured to the, the, the food court in Leeds Market, but you really should, just looking around, you see Lebanese places, Indian places, American places, um, there's an Istanbul place to my right. Loads of really, really nice little independent places, which are definitely gonna be worth giving a try at some point. So before I leave today, I'm going to have a walk around a couple of them and just have a look at some of them. But while I were over there, you'll have seen me put it on the table earlier on. I grabbed myself another pork pie. I've never really been into my flavoured pork pies. So what I've done is I've got myself a flavoured pork pie. I know a lot of people go for chilli pork pies, Stilton pork pies, but this is the first time. See, this one comes in a bit of a casing as well. I've got myself a pork and tomato pork pie never seen a pork and tomato pork pie before so when I go around looking for these pork pies I'm gonna start getting a normal and a flavor but I'm gonna mix the flavors up I'm just gonna go random with everything right so let's have a quick look at this and already you can tell it's got a bit of an extra special top it looks a bit heavy it feels a bit heavier it looks a bit bigger right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get cut into this let's have a look looking forward to this to be honest with you Look at that, there we go, look at that. So it looks like it's got the pork at the bottom and then a tomato layer of pork on the top of it. So it looks like it's two different mixes inside there if you can see that. Here is the pork and tomato, one pound eighty-five. So, feels a bit like a different pastry already. You can taste the tomato in it straight away, but it's two separate layers, as you can see. I thought it would be a whole tomato thing. So, see, the pastry is not as crumbly. It's, um, I don't know if that's because it's not fresh or a day order. They will last a while, won't they? You know, they'll sell them for a couple of days. I don't know if it's because it's not the freshest. If I'm honest with you, it's a nice pot pie. But, ironically, this is £1.85, 
it doesn't come close to their one pound pork pie. Their one pork pound, their one pound pork pie is is amazing. This is lovely. It's great, you know, but the one pound ones are amazing. Right, so I'm not going to rate the flavoured ones. What I'm going to do is, if anybody knows any weird flavoured pot pies in any weird shop, I'm literally just going to go, you know, check them out. It'd be unfair to rate the flavoured ones because I'm going to be getting all different flavours everywhere. You know, it's hard to picture still and against the chilli, against the tomato. So, 8.5 for their main pot pie, that's a pound. But that's including the value, the quality, the taste. I mean, that's a great score. Um, it's a great benchmark for anyone going forward, you know. I'm going to go back and try some of the other flavoured ones at some point. The tomato one, yeah, again, it's a good pot pie. It's not, it's not as good as the one pound one, you know. I just want to keep the channel honest, I want to keep it real. They're doing a great job with them one pound pot pies. For me, I'd rather have two of the one pound pot pies than one of these. I'd rather have one of the one pound pot pies than one of these if I'm honest with you. Um, because they were exceptional, they were really nice, really tasty. Get your send down to Malcolm Michaels, come and try their one pound pot pies, try the flavoured pot pies. To be honest with you, looking around the store, all their stuff looks really nice. Scotch eggs, all the meat look really nice. So get your send down there, spend some money there. Right guys, remember if you like this content, like, subscribe, drop them comments in. I want to know what you think, where is the best pot pie place? What is the weirdest pot pie flavours? Even if you haven't tried them, you know, you've just seen them and thought, oh, I want to eat that. Well, I'll go eat it. Don't worry about that. So I want to try some weird pot pies. I want to try some amazing pot pies, yeah. No more fishy Fridays. It's pot pie Fridays.